Hello YouTube, it is Damien, it is the city of Liverpool, it is non-league to legend and here we are with episode 7 of non-league to legend and today we have a big league game, it is us versus Squires Gate over away at Squires Bay at the school road, I love that just because there's a school in the road, it's called the school road, pure and simple, best way to put a name for a stadium, love it to bits. Anyhow, this is a big game for us in terms of the league because this is our first rural league test. As you can see, we're the only team in the comp to a 1-5 five from 5. And we haven't played anyone really in and around the top 8. We've played a lot of these sides that are in the bottom half. Um, Squires Great, as you notice, are one of the few sides left apart from ourselves. Um, I reckon that um, Rin, um, Charnock, Richard did just lose their last game. They played, they did lose um, their last game because they were also undefeated and won four straight. Um, Ashton Athletic lost to uh, Charnock as well. And when you last met with us in the FA Cup, that league table had Aston, Charnock, all winning games. We're all neck and neck. We're all, you know, have played for, we played three or four and won all four to start the league. And with only one promotion spot, you know, it's going to be difficult. You have to keep those runs going. As it so happened, we are now eked away on top, we've got five from five, but this is a real true test, against another side that hasn't lost the game in the league, Squires Gate, they are actually favourites with the bookies for this one as well, so it's going to be quite a difficult game, but definitely a game worthy of coming in and doing a live, come on. Since we last met in the Emirates FA Cup, we put in a great performance against Hyde, unfortunately lost 2-1 in a great game of football, that I thought we were definitely good enough to sneak a draw in. Um, we played against Northwich in the Notts County's Premier, um, that was the first game that I played back in Adelaide, as you can tell, I am back from my holidays. It is the sixth. It is the sorry, the seventh of Jan. Um, of Jan, we did come back on the sixth. This is the first episode I'm doing for Non League to Legend in 2019. Hope everybody had a good New Year and a good Christmas as well. Even though I was filming on Christmas Day, um, Brant Fam, we did beat in the FA Vase free one. We then beat in the Notts Leeds Counties Cup. We beat um, Stone and lucky last in the last game we played in the league, we played at Wins Forward. Um, look, it's important to note that Carl Noon and Jamie McDonald have all of a sudden started scoring a hat full goal. Um, and Lewis Troke off the bench has started to score and really perform. You know, I said in the last episode that this guy's got 12 pace, 12 um, finishing and that. The stats don't look as good as they usually do right now because I was doing... Um, um, I did stream Bright Lights yesterday. Highly recommend. Link in the description below. Come follow us on Twitch because we'll be streaming Bright Lights until the Bright Light save is over and then the City of Liverpool save will come onto the Twitch stream as well. Um, and follow the Twitter so you keep up to date with Bright Lights and City of Liverpool when stuff are going live. Um, but because of that, all the stats are kind of for the mate, the boys like Nicholas Adderin and so on and so forth look as good as they are and not just be sensational. So the stats for this video are just going to be out of whack. Um, I will be playing the City of Liverpool save for the rest of the day that I'm home. So I do recommend I do, um, I do recommend. I do reckon I'll be filming at least another video or two for the today before I then switch back to bright lights and do some, um, do some streaming tonight. Um, and so when and with that in mind, we'll probably switch over the preferences for the interface then. But to get into this first game, because I'm just so excited to get into the Squires Gate game, I haven't really bothered. We're going to continue on though and get into this Squires Gate game. I am predicting it's going to be nervy and tight. This is the first real test we've had in the league. Like we've been tested in the FA Cup, and we've beaten sides above us in the FA Cup twice, in the tier but above us, and then in the two tiers above us, we put up a good game. Um, in saying that though, against Squires Gate, I don't know what to expect, but there's a lot of good performances happening. You know, Denson's been playing well, Kelly's playing well, um, Hunt has to come out there for Dan Clayton, who's coming back from injury, which means Braxton comes in, Ledger's been keeping fairly well. The whole side's been playing quite well. You know, these front two have been sensational, and hopefully that continues today. Jay McDonald is probably the standout, and he is sensational. He's also contracted for us, um, so we're hoping that he does turn into quite the player. But here we are against Squires Gate at the school road. I'm predicting a very nervy game, and saying that, though, a lot of teams that come and play against us, we seem to dominate and it just seems the teams that also play 4-4-2 that we seem to, you know, be a bit, not struggling, but it's not as flawed. You know, teams that have played 4-3-3 in the league, we've pumped like 5-1 against Winsford and so on and so forth. As we can see, it's two teams playing 4-4-2. It's, you know, if anyone that watches uh, um, Sunderland and Bright Lights know that I play a very fluid 4-3-3. I'm all about possession and pressing that. In the lower levels, it is 4-4-2. Get the ball over the top to your pacey striker. Run, score, play some wing play, get crosses into the box. Because at this level, defensive mistakes will happen if you put them under pressure. Getting players at this level to try and play possession-based pressing football, they don't have the work rate, they don't have the technical abilities, it's not going to happen. Um, that is a lot quick. Oh, that's because we're beating Winsford 5-1. I wanted to get to this game. No, I was about to say, why is it that quick for? But there we are. Um, Winsford obviously was the last game we played. We did win fine well. As it's Bonsdale with the ball in, corners are going to be a problem at 
against teams and for us it will be a great way to score as Charnel Ryan Charnel has scored an absolute beautiful volley and we're 1-0 down there the Squires gate didn't deal with it enough Kelly's header away wasn't great I wouldn't say it was the worst defensive header in the world but it was not great as you can see Pilner's header away is actually okay but he doesn't header it away away Kelly's header he's got to do better but he does put it into an area where there's three of them but it is at least it's not a header into the six-yard box like you usually see it on, on FM. Anyway, it's our first corner. Lee Hendry is going to put this ball in. Lee Hendry's ball. Jamie McDonald's there, and the keeper makes a mistake, and it's one, one, and 15 minutes play. We have a game of, you know, a game of high-quality lower league football where teams are taking their chances. Lee Hendry there, great ball in. The former England international who had one cap forces the keeper to come for a, a whipping corner that he was never getting to, and McDonald will make a mistake. But from kickoff is another highlight. And how many times have we seen from kickoff a goal go in when this happens? Summer on to K. K now can turn. Can K find a good pass forward? He does find Bondswell. Bondswell looking for K. Still with K now. And K running forward in the Bondswell. He puts into the box. Headed away from Braxton. And if we can get on it, we got pace to break, but we won't. And we'll fall to K in the middle of the park. Drifting a bit out wide here. Finds Richards on the fullback. Whoops it back into K. K now looking there for Mick Millan. Mick Millan there with the ball. Looks out to Summer. Summer now on it, or Sumner, sorry, I thought it was double M. Great tackle there from, um, who was it out here? Not Hunter, we just took him out. I think it was, um, think, oh my God, what have you done there, Braxton? And Braxton has made an absolute damn error. Damned error? I don't know. Daft error is what we're trying to say. And it is going to be 2-1, barring him a save. Ledger! There he goes. Stays middle, wasn't out Fox, and there we are. We're lucky to still be at 1-1 here. And it's a corner. It's Lee Hendry. Great ball in back post. Saying that's gone probably a little bit too deep, but it's the area we want it to be. And McDonald isn't able to keep it. And I tell you what, Squires Gate has been the best side we have played so far this season. It is told. And they have been pretty good at coming on the break, pretty good at finding feet. And like they just did there. And K now with it. Great tackle there from Braxton. Braxton there finds Clayton now. Clayton back from injury. Missed like two games. Still with Clayton. Beats his man just, but he does. And Clayton running with it. His ball inside finds Jamie McDonald. McDonald in the Lee Hendry. He can pick a pass. He looks for Mills. Mills to Lee Hendry. Hendry now switches it out there to Kelly. What a ball. Unfortunately, Kelly couldn't take under his control. The ball long is picked up by Pilno. Heads in the Denson. Denson now. Can he find a ball over the top? He looks there for Kelly. Doesn't find him. Sumner now on it. Can we press in and win? in this area, Mars is still on it, back to Bezler, Noon, oh my god, it's hit Noon in the head, he knew nothing about it, and it's in, and we're 2-1 up in fluke fashion, there we go, I wouldn't say he's meant that one there, we kind of pressed him and pressed him back, um, if I was playing with City and with Sunderland, I would actually say don't go press the keeper because it's just an easy way out. Obviously, at this level, keepers aren't the best at their kicking. He's just gone the thump and he's kicked it straight into Noon, who's actually, I thought it just hit him in the head and it's gone in. He's actually put his head back to go and control that header. And we're going to give Carl Noon the credit it deserved. Apparently, we're looking for offside. Um, I wouldn't say that Jamie McDonald's interfered with play there, FM, but if you want to try and claim that, by all means. And it is going to be 2-1. A bit fortunate for us to be leading. I would say the game's been quite even and a quite scrappy and dogfight. Um, you know, it's a dogfight sort of game. I reckon that reckon, you know, that suits us a little bit more. When a game's a bit of a dogfight, a little bit end-to-end, -end, we do have the quality up top to really make chances count. And we have a decent enough back line, so we've seen so far this year in the first five games of the league, that we can deal with that. Saying that, though, they play a different 4-4-2. They seem to play a very high possession-based 4-4-2. Well, we're just pretty much get the ball on the break. Off we go. Lee Hendry there. Free kick. Back stick. Oh, Carl Noon's at the back post. It's gone over everybody, and it's 3-1 just like that. And that's the reason we brought Lee Hendry in. He's 41, but he has the technical ability still. Um, you know, not as good as he was playing for England and playing in the Premier League all those years ago. But for this level, he has great technical ability, and he's sensational over dead ball for this level. And he's just seen it again. And it's so important in lower league to have a good dead ball special. Specialist. And it's just a great ball back post, and Carl Noon's not picked up, and that's two goals for Carl Noon, who's been in scintillating form, and is definitely a player we need to tie down for next season for sure. But there we are, we're three one up against fifth place, sorry, fourth place Squires Gate, and I'm very happy with the way you're playing. Ben Ledger does deserve a shout out, great penalty save. It could have been two one down within 17 minutes. Instead, we are now three one up, and that penalty save could be huge. He did save a penalty as well in the FA Cup in our first ever competitive game as well. Anyhow. As time ticks on here, I'm not worried about the possession too much because we do play on the break, like I said. like We play very heavy on the break. Um, obviously, there was a counter system that we played with Sunderland, yet again, making comparison to the Sunderland save. But that counter-pressing save was still focused around, we do have the ball, can we keep it? You know, Here, it's just get the ball and off we go. 
and in the lower leagues, it's definitely seemed to work so far for us. Anyway, McMillian, as you can see, they play a 4-4-2, but it's all about shorter passing, keeping the ball between the lines to uh, Squires Gate. And I rule against a defense not as organized as ours, I, rec I reckon they would be quite dangerous. Anyway, Carl Noon picks it up, and he had space to play the ball, and he doesn't. In the end, it falls to Clayton. Lee Hendry, what a ball. Oh, my days, what a goal. Lee Hendry... Eat your heart out. This is the Lee Hendry, Lee Hendry special. We're winding back the clock, ladies and gentlemen. We're winding back to the Lee Hendry days when he's back in the Prem and picking passes out for fun. Why he got called up to play for England. But here he is. First time, straight to McDonald. What a volley to... What a goal. That could go down as one of the better goals he scored all year. Lee Hendry, what a ball. Eat your heart out. This episode might be called the Lee Hendry special. Cancel. We don't want to make a change just yet. And we are somehow 4-1 up. Clinical from us, absolutely clinical. Five shots, four, four of them have gone in, in terms of on target. Absolutely loving it. The Lee Hendry special, 68 minutes play, we are gonna make a change here. And the first change we are gonna make is we are going to bring on Jamie McLeaf in there for Kelly. Kelly's not had his um, I had his worst day out there out wide, but um, Jamie's got a little bit of pace and can go up there. The second thing we might do is we're going to leave both strikers up there, but Lewis Troop's been in good form. I wouldn't mind getting him on there. Um, we are going to actually get Michael in there for Mills. Mills has had a decent game, but Coglin can play there. Um, he's pretty good as a central midfielder just on support. We are dominating the game that we can switch a few roles, and there we are. And we'll probably get um, Pilner off late doors just so he doesn't get suspended, um, but we will wait till about the 80th minute just not to unsettle the defence too much. You know, and if they scored before the 80th, you would say that the game is on, but right now we should be okay. We are going to bring Nat Kerr in there, Phil Pilner. Um, obviously, a very good backup player is, um, is Kerr. We talked about him in last episode, the episode before, about why we brought him in. And, you know, the game he did start, he played well, and he's obviously quality for us. Anyway, 92 minutes played, and it's a corner. Hendry with the ball in. It's headed away. It's forward as Jamie Hincliffe. He hits it! What a strike from Janie. From Jamie. From Jamie. There we go. Great goal for Jamie. It's his first senior goal for the club, which is sensational as well. And we are 5-1 up against Squires Gate. Now, look, glad to be 5-1 up. Sensational look. It's, we're going to win six from six. We'll be the team that hasn't lost in the league yet. And you can see why. You can see the quality that Squires Gate did bring to us. They've kept the ball. They've had 25 shots. We have had... We were lucky not to concede from a penalty. It was a great save from Ledger. Ledger's had a great game in goals where he's pulled off a lot of great saves at a 7.7. Um, and just... Us on the break is just a different animal. And when we put chances on target with the quality we do have in Colney and Jamie um, and Jamie McDonald, we are sensational because they're the two of the best strikers in the league. Whereas Squires Gate, I think their strikers are very good for the league, I would imagine they are. Um, but are they Jamie McDonald and Carl Noon? No, they're not. They played a very good brand of football to Squires Gate. In a 4-4-2, they played, I'm not going to say they played a Valverde 4-4-2 at Barca, but they played a very good 4-4-2, very possession-based, very, um, you know, very... Probing the spaces, probing between the lines, looking to create clear-cut chances. But I would actually say um, Squires Gate probably would re um, probably would benefit playing a 4-3-3 then um, if they're going to play that sort of system. But anyhow, in the battle of the two different systems in 4-4-2, we come out on top and win 5-1. We won six straight in the league, which means we are still top. And next time in the City of Liverpool um, non-league to legend save, we'll be back for episode 8. Episode 8 is going to be another league game. I'm going to try and pick league games that are of importance. However, if there's not a league game that's going to be important over a month's time, I'll try to bring you one game a month because it's obviously our first... Um, a first season in, and it's a first season in this division. Say, for instance, we didn't get promoted from this division. Next season, we'll just bring you crunch games and try and get through the season as quickly as possible as there is 11 promotions to get to the promised land, and we want to get there. Not as quickly as possible, but we want to get there without making it too boring for the viewers. From Damien, from the City of Liverpool, non to Legend, that is the end of episode 7. I'll see you for episode 8. Links in the description below to come follow us on Twitch and on Twitter. So go and check them out. Thank you, and goodbye.